EarringHolderGallery.com is the topic of our discussion today. We're going to do an expert website review for my friend David, a longtime Click Millionaires Masterminds member, who's come in through ExpertWebsiteReviews.com to ask for some feedback on his website. I'm Scott Fox from ClickMillionaires.com and ExpertWebsiteReviews.com. Today we're going to do what we can to help give David some good advice to help him improve the sales of his earring holders, or I should say his wife's earring holders, really, I guess. Dave and Barbara have been a team for a long time, and this website reflects their efforts to sell the world more earring holders. So David wrote in to ExpertWebsiteReviews.com and gave me some questions to focus our discussion today. Together we're going to try to figure out how to improve the usability and product strategy so that David can increase the sales conversions online. Now David's questions revolve around, first of all, do customers get it? And that's actually my number one question too, David, so we'll get to that in just a second. And is it easy to use? Can they see clearly that we offer many unique sizes and dozens of designs? Custom work is important and that each earring holder is an original piece of art. Typical target customers are women with disposable income, educated, organized, and quite often family-oriented in terms of their gifting. His number one goal is for them to make a purchase, and I have a comment about that too. And then, uh, let's see, the keywords are targeting some competitors that we'll take a look at quickly. And overall, he's looking for more traffic. So let's see, more traffic and more sales. Okay, so David, this is a nice looking site. This, I think I looked at this for you a couple years ago, as I recall, and you've really upgraded things. It looks like you've moved over to the Big Commerce shop platform. Big Commerce is a very nice system, and uh, it's one of my recommended shopping systems, so I think it was a good choice. Let's see what you've done to customize it. Now, your earring holder gallery has really done a nice job, I think, visually. Clearly, you guys have a strong artistic streak in the family. Um, the site looks good. The graphics are attractive. It looks clean and professional. Uh, I click around. It, there's not much doubt about what's going on. So we can skip a lot of the pre preliminaries <laughs> about making uh, the website attractive. You've done a great job on that. But what can you do to get more sales? That's really what we're after here, right? So what are we going to talk about? Well, I, I've got a fundamental question that is the same one that you posed in your email, the form you filled out when you went to expertwebsitereviews.com. And I think that underlies the whole strategy here. And there are two paths to discuss here. It all underlies your question that you asked me, do customers get it? And what I think, you don't even reference what the it is here, and I think that's a fundamental problem on this site. There are no earrings on the site. <laughs> Now, I know your target audience is not me, right? I'm a middle-aged married guy. I'm not, I don't have a collection of earrings to organize. Your target is women with a lot of earrings. But you don't have any pictures of earrings on the site at all. This looks like a site that's selling art. Like here's a nice monogrammed picture of an N. Um, you've got pictures of these things all over the site. And, and as again, they're, they're very nice looking. But I think you need some action shots here, my friend. Um, there's two types of audiences. That's what I mentioned a second ago, okay? The first type is maybe they've met you guys at an art show, or they came in through Google and they typed earring holders, right? They're looking for earring holders. You've optimized your site for these phrases. I even went and looked at Google AdWords for you. Um, and here's the problem. There are not tons of searches on these terms, right? On the high side, 22,000 a month globally. Now that's not in the big wide world of keyword search is a very high traffic search term. So even if you're capturing most of those, um, you've got a larger audience of people who don't know what they're after. And I'm afraid that this is a, just a, it's a little obscure. You, you, earring holders are cool and if I see them at an art show, I'll guarantee that in your booth at the shows, you show them with some earrings on them. I don't see earrings anywhere on the site, and to me, at least as a guy, or perhaps as someone who's ending up here randomly, it looks like art. And, and that's fine, because it is art, but it's not art alone, it's functional art. And when you have pages like this, I really think it would help a lot to have some earrings. Now, to validate that approach, I went and looked at some of your competitors. You gave me two competitors to look at. The first, uh, earnest.com, well, they're out of business, so I guess that's not much of a reference. The other one is this uh, NH Woodworking site, and guess what? As soon as I got there, there they've got a picture of an earring holder with earrings in it. 
And here again, with earrings in it. There's a lot of other problems with this site, this New Hampshire woodworking, but they're showing how this thing works. And you guys have skipped right over that step, and I think it's hurting you. So you, you, I think that's what you mean when you say, do customers get it? Because you don't explain what it is, but I think it is earrings, my friend. So you've got this nice slideshow going. You've got four of these slides, um, no earrings. And even, even the women you're picturing here, nice shot, no earrings, <laughs> no ears even. <laughs> and down here, more graphics, lots of graphics. I, I think it would help a lot to have a picture, a couple examples in this big thing here or the smaller ones here. Just show some of your products including some earrings on them so that somebody had an idea what this thing looks like. Especially, even if the women all get it, you know, and I asked my wife, and she did know what an earring holder was, um, but if you're, they're trying to sell these to their, or get their husbands to come and buy these as gifts, I, I'm a simple guy, I need some pictures. So I think a couple of pictures, like over on the woodworking site, or even a video. What if you put a video right here that just showed Barbara or somebody else a 30 second thing saying, hey, Here's a beautiful earring holder. It's handmade. You know, I framed this and then painted it like that, and here's what you do with it. I have here a box of earrings. Look at this. I can hang them this easily. Here's how I put the stud ones in. Here's how I put the hook ones in. Here's where long ones can go. Here's where short ones can go. Isn't this a great gift? Just a little whiz-bang, uh, quick shot like that. You could post it on YouTube for free and embed it right here, and I think that would at least for a simple-minded guy like me, it would help me get it to answer your question. And even a still photo, if that sounds like too high a hill to climb, <laughs> to view the video, um, I, just right here, a couple shots, you know, of the things in action. Okay? Now, that's my biggest point, and I think that's what you're asking when you say, do customers get it? Because I'm afraid that enough of them do, but still enough of them don't. And a simple, you know, you know, pictures worth a thousand words, a couple pictures, I think you'd get over that hump really quickly. Now, my next big points would be, um, you say that your goal is to make a purchase. Okay, that's fine. Let's talk about that. And then I have another goal that I think is even more important for you, to make a purchase. I don't see any buy buttons, okay? You're being a little shy here. You've got a gift for everyone. Um, here you go, shop now. Uh, you've got a sale, shop, there, there are no buttons on this page. You're making it a little bit hard. You're doing a lot of selling, but without explaining fully what an earring holder is and not making it easy for me to buy. So I'd like to see a little more merchandising. If you're going to try to make this a store, I would surface some of those products up to the home page and have buy buttons right there. Like um, our most popular, right? That's a great way to do it. Amazon.com does that, and so should anybody else. If one of these sections here, or one of your slideshow, or down here, you've got a lot of text, ideally above the fold, of course. But if you had a section that said, here are three most popular items, click to learn more and buy. You need that call to action, buy. And shop now is close, and people can argue about the specific wording. But this is all still a little passive. There's a sale. Um, well, I guess maybe that's not fair. Customize yours here. Shop all earring holders. Shop now. Okay, I guess. But it's still, I don't know. A buy button is a certain thing, right? There's a certain look to it also. I guess graphically is part of what's throwing me off. This nice font in Shop Now and this tasteful lavender is nice. Or even in this hotter pink is nice. But it's not what I'm, like, as an online shopper, I'm programmed to react to certain things. These don't look purchasable to me as much as this looks like a brochure. So I know you, in every case like this, you have to balance the, the look and design and the feel of it. And you don't want to be too commercial, but you also want to be commercial enough to stimulate that buy reflex. And I think some simple, more buy-ish looking buttons would help. Okay? Now here's my bigger picture question for you. You think your number one goal here is to make a purchase. I don't. I think your number one goal here, David, is to build your email list. You want to build an email list of people so that you can continue to sell them. And you need to think about how you can build a sales ladder so that you get people not just buying one earring holder, but multiple. Either for themselves, and then you have follow-on products, or one for themselves, and then, as you do mention, gifts for other people. And to do that, you need an email list. And you have an email list, but it's hidden. I had to really look for it, actually. It's not on the home page at all. On these other pages, no, 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 no. You know where I found it? Way back here in the sidebar on the About Us page and in your FAQ. 
All right, this little box is the key to the growth of your business. You don't want to be on the show on the road doing shows for the rest of your life. You can sell online without having to leave the home. All right, I know going to Delray is fun, <laughs> but but you need to build an email list. So I would reconsider at least part of your homepage and prioritize that email collector. Like this search, does anybody use this? This seems to be much more like a browsing opportunity. Is anybody really coming in and searching for like cat earring holder when they couldn't find it sitting right here? I would reprioritize this. Questions maybe, but this not so much. Um, the newsletter collection, I think, is your number one priority, and I would re-gear your whole site around that. Because honestly, if you can get their email address one time, you can sell to them forever. Well, or at least till they unsubscribe. You don't want to be a jerk and spam them, right? But that is really more important these days than getting that first sale. The majority of people don't land on a site that sells something as unique as this and buy right away anyway. And if they leave, which most do, I'm sure your bounce rate is quite high. If they leave, getting them back is tough unless you've got their email address. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Now let's talk a little more specifically about the rest. That's kind of the big picture. What else would I pick on here? So that's what you <laughs> asked me to do. Um, are you emphasizing the custom? I don't think so enough. You've got this little blue guy here, but those words are really small. Especially, remember, your target audience is probably of an age or getting to an age where small type is harder to read. So I would make a bigger deal of this. These security icons are nice, I'm not sure they're worth all that prominence. Um, and I, by the way, so speaking of small fonts, your logo needs to be, I would get rid of this stuff. Well, maybe I guess those are your frames, but earring holder gallery needs to be like three times that size. You need to brand yourself so if people do click away, they at least remember where they were. This whole bar, I would reconsider a little bit um, in terms of your space. I'd rather see the logo bigger, uh, maybe a picture of you and Barbara, so it felt a little more personal, and the newsletter. Uh, come on is a much bigger deal and then if the hand painted designs are a big deal and you've got the customizers here then um, and you've got it I think it was one of these slides also um, yeah they're customized yours today that's okay um, you're using kind of drab colors I'd have to point out this one and then these are all kind of the same colors don't you have some variations where the colors are a little more poppy I mean that's an art question for Barbara I guess not for me but, but it doesn't it doesn't grab me I have to say compared to like these bright colors you're using here in the sale logo if you want the customize to be uh, attractive then I think it needs to be attractive <laughs> and eye-catching let's click on that and see what happens does it go to yeah. Now, a lot of your pages have this. I clicked through. I'm now interested. Here's a ton of copy. I don't think that's the priority here. A sentence or two. You need the pictures. People want the pictures. Um, I would move this stuff up. This is a merchandise -y sort of page. Uh, again, though, you've got choose options on all these. Don't you have any buy buttons? Can't I just buy something? Oh, here we go. Okay, add to cart. Okay, that's closer. Um, this pink button, I would make that font bigger again, by the way, if you can. This is what I want to see more of. Um, it's a lot of steps if you think about uh, what it takes me to get to this place, especially when you're doing custom orders. I know you have to take personalized in info, so that's not necessarily a fair example. But if we're shopping all the earring holders here, can I just buy one of these? Are there options on everything? I guess there are options on everything. Okay, well, maybe that's slowing people down. Um, you guys might be a little too charmed with your own process here. Um, you know, how about this hot pink with dots one that with the shoe position is staggered, whatever that means. There you go. Put that on the home page. This is our number one most popular buy now. That's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see like five of those. So people can just come in and say, oh, okay, I get it. These are their most popular things. Okay, this is the kind of thing I want or not. Right now, you make them do a lot of work to decide that. Um, you've, you've got a lot of sales, you're trying really hard, sale, sell, um, without really showing a variety of products and making them easy to buy right from the start. Every one of these, you're requiring them to come in and learn about the product and think about it and then pick a bunch of options and then add it to the cart and then check out. That's not the way the most efficient sales and the most lucrative volume sales work online. You go to Amazon.com, what have they done? They patented one-click ordering. They've got a patent on it. And then with their prime shipping, you come through, you say, I like it, I've got it, I'm done. Literally, you're out of there in less than 10 seconds if you know what you want. You can't get to that level with this, but if you can cut out a few of those clicks, not for everybody, but at least to entice enough people into that they want to learn more, I would surface a couple of those most populars that can be bought quickly. 
And people will look at those and then they'll go, oh, okay, I don't like it, I'm out of here, fine. Well, not fine, but you know, that happens. Or, oh, I do like it, I'll take it, ideal. Or, I like it, but I, hey, I wonder if that comes in purple. Or, hey, they could monogram it. And then you've got them down the road of wanting to engage, right? And then they're willing to go do all the shopping. You're, you're, what you've done, I think, is take your art fair experience where people walk into the booth and go, oh, I see, oh, that's interesting. Well, how about this one? Oh, look at that one. Oh, how do you make these? And you have a conversation, which is a wonderful way to sell, but it doesn't work online as well. You need to boil it down. And I think you know this. I mean, the questions you're asking me are, 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 are all hinting at this. I think you got to collapse the process so that the quick buyer, the quick browser can get in, get out, make a decision, make a purchase, and go. Especially if it's husbands who don't know what hearing holders are anyway. Show them the five most popular. We're in and we're out, right? But then if somebody else wants to come in and look around, you give them a chance to figure out which direction they want to go first. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to be helpful here. It's a little, it's a little involved because you have an involved product. Now what else should we talk about? Let's see. Hand painted. Yeah, so nice stuff here for sure. Obviously, you guys are making a living doing this for a long time. Um, you might think, I don't want to you know, beat you up and make it reorganize the whole site, but maybe reorganize a little bit around themes because you obviously have these beach ones that are fun. Here's a, uh, a foreign, uh, like a, a Parisian bistro, and then you've got animals, and then some that are just sort of print-looking things. Um, maybe you can shop by design. I don't know. I, I guess you don't want to add more options, but um, the way this is organized doesn't necessarily... Uh, you're, you're forcing people to browse again and you've got four pages at least of these so you might think about uh, I, I don't want you to add more clicks but if this page just had four and it said shoe style ones letter style ones animal picture ones and print style ones that might be more helpful for a browser um, the bottom line here is to test this stuff right I think it would be worth a lot to you to ask a few people who don't know you don't know your business uh, I often say, ask your spouse, you know, but obviously you and Barbara know each other pretty well. Um, but maybe you could ask some folks who are not in your business, you know, like a, an in-law or a neighbor or something, and just sit them down in front of the computer and stand behind them just for five minutes and say, um, could you go and find a gift for your wife? And just see what they do. Watch what they click on and get confused by. And, and have them verbalize as they're doing this. And they say, oh, I clicked here because this was biggest, but now I see that was the wrong thing. Or I got distracted by this free shipping thing, and, and that wasn't what I should have done. You know, or things like that. It can be really, really helpful to get even five minutes of feedback from a couple different people. And if, you know, if you don't have anybody handy to do that with, there are lots of services online that can do that. Come into the clickmillionaires.com forum again, and we'll I can give you URLs. They're in my books, too, uh, of services that will help you do this fairly uh, cheap for like 20 bucks, I think, um, and have people go through, and they'll actually record this, and you can watch where people get stuck on the website. Now, um, what else did I want to say? Let's see. Earring holders. Now, like I said, I would love to see some of these with earrings. I know that to you guys, that's probably like, oh, no, we don't want to cover up the art, but at least... Every now and then, I think you should show what these things actually do. Now, on the About Us, I would love some more pictures. This is a nice photo of Barbara, but how about some more? How about the process? Uh, if people buy, you know, from the art fair business, if people are in your booth, they're interested in the process, what it's made out of, I think a photo essay here could be really valuable. Again, the newsletter should be more prominent. Um, the FAC was, uh, I clicked away from that already, I guess, but the FAC is, uh, was informative, but a lot of dense text. Um, I think you could collapse a few of these, uh, and most importantly, a lot of this um, menu stuff I think could be moved down. You have it down here too. Do you really need about us and contact us twice? I think it would focus the path of the user to not get distracted by this stuff uh, and the search box and even quite well maybe questions. But you've got all this menu, all right? Menu, 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 menu. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, the less things that you have to distract the customer, the better. So I would focus on merchandising your top product lines on the homepage, like I've discussed a couple times now, and get rid of anything else you can. And when you sign up with a service like Big Commerce, it's fun because you have all these things you can tweak and add, but all those features are overload for a customer, and they can distract and hurt your sales. So I hope that's helpful to you, David. What else uh, here as a wrap-up? Let's see. Order status, wish list, yeah, you've got some good functionality here. I'm not, against, I'm not against anything you've done here. I think this is a fine site. You asked for feedback and how to upgrade it, and these are my suggestions. Um, 
in particular, I guess I'm also bothered by all this text. This stuff is good for search engine optimization, but this does not make me want to buy. Uh, the pictures are what's important here, and I think you need to rethink what you're positioning here. And I would love to see some people using these. That, that would really bring this to life. The only picture you've got, I know that kind of photography is expensive, it's this one stock photo and they don't have e earrings or even ears. So a couple shots of Barbara or in the studio or you guys at an art fair selling this or ideally uh, super beautiful young supermodels using this stuff are what gets people's attention, right? And showing somebody using the earring, to the, the holder to hold their earrings I think would be great. Okay, so I hope that's helpful to you, and I uh, like the site. I'd love to see these improvements. I think they would help you a lot. And, of course, as usual, if you want feedback, come over to ClickMillionaires.com, and we'd be happy to help you. I'm Scott Fox from ExpertWebsiteReviews.com. Thanks to David for this order. If you'd like a review like this of your website, I'd be happy to help you. Come on over to ExpertWebsiteReviews.com. We do this all the time. And then free follow-up at ClickMillionaires.com. Our lifestyle business coaching forum is open to you as well. Thanks for watching today, and good luck to David, and please, if you're in the market for an earring holder, earringholders.com is the place for you.